Elizabeth II is dead, so let's talk about the Queen's famous stolen jewels. Starting with the crown jewels, we expect to see these at Charles's coronation that'll happen pretty soon. You'll hold the orb and scepter. So the orb represents Christian dominion over the world, the cross and then the globe. The scepter features the world's largest diamond. This is the first Cullinan diamond, also known as the Great Star of Africa. It was stolen from South Africa in 1905. The Azanian People's Organization recently made a statement about the first Cullinan. They said this diamond belongs to the black people of this country and to them alone. This is the Queen Mother's crown and contains the Kohinoor diamond from India right in the center. Now that the Queen's dead, the Kohinoor will go to Camilla. The British East India Company stole the Kohinoor from a 10-year-old king, Maharaja Dulip Singh, during the annexation of Punjab in the 1840s. Here's Queen Victoria wearing it on her cloak shortly after she stole it from a little boy. This is the Imperial State Crown and it will also be put on Charles's head. This diamond in the middle is the Cullinan II, also from South Africa. This ruby in the middle is known as the Black Prince's Ruby. It's believed to be from Afghanistan. This sapphire at the top is the St. Edward Sapphire and is actually considered a holy relic by the royal family. It's believed to be from Sri Lanka. Then on the other side of that crown is this sapphire, known as the Stuart Sapphire. This one is believed to have originated from Myanmar or present-day Kashmir. Here's a non-coronation crown that Camilla is likely to wear. It's the Burmese Ruby Crown, made from rubies from Myanmar. They were gifted. Also the Nizam of Hyderabad Tiara. It's made from diamonds from the Golconda Mines of India. What do you think should happen with these jewels in the modern age?